Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode 24 of the Real Madrid career mode on Soccer Manager 2016. I want to apologize to all of you guys, know what you're thinking, where have I been all this time, you know, months have passed by, I haven't posted a new episode, I haven't really told you guys what, what, what was happening, so I'm going to take a little bit of time in this video to tell you guys what happened, you know, as, just like many other YouTubers, I got pretty busy, things got busy in, in my life, you know, and I just couldn't make videos at that time, but... This is season 2 of our series. I'm going to make sure I post a lot more videos this time. So please hit the like button. Comment down below any suggestions. I always want to uh, hear. And also, you guys had some suggestions uh, before about players you wanted, wanted me to buy. The problem is, I made this video earlier, like a month or two months ago. And also, a lot of these big players that are playing for these big clubs are hard to buy because the club because in big clubs it's rare that they even let the players go they usually say no so it was i wasn't able to get some of the big name guys you guys wanted me to get but i got some people that i thought could uh, could help out the squad anyway we're gonna go straight into our first match here against celta vigo it's real much versus celta vigo now i know some of you guys said you want me to go and try a new club i i i will probably do that Maybe mid season, maybe mid season, or maybe um, halfway. So, what about this comment section? The question of the day Do you want me to stay at, at Real Madrid this season, or do you want me to leave and go to another club? So, please comment down below, tell me what you think, and let's get on with this match. As you guys can see here, match continue, uh, match starts off here. Us, it is, it's, it's here and there, back to back, with shots and opportunities flying, um, flying on the sides. No one has really gotten a goal yet, I believe. Chance comes in here, and it's a great save. Match continues here. Not too much action going on. Cross for Real Madrid. Can't get it in. No. Yes, we can. It's a goal for Real Madrid. 1-0 up against Celta Vigo. Another chance here, and I believe. It's a foul. The referee comes over and hands the guy a yellow card. Anyway, coming and checking out my squad for a while, a little bit here. Trying to check out everything going on. Um, you know, and uh, everything's pretty good. So let's go and let's start the second half of this match. Not too much happening here. Back to fourth action like always. Chance comes in for Real Madrid. Can we score? No, it goes wide. Missed opportunity here for Madrid. Match continues here, not too much going on, another chance for Madrid, can we finish it this time? No we can't, amazing save by the goalkeeper, what a great goalkeeper this guy is, and we get an injury. Anyone that's been watching this series for a while knows that injuries are pretty much something that happens often. We get an injury here, it is, it is, um, I can't really see the name, but I know you guys can, um, but anyway, match continues here, and not, not too much going on. Hopefully, we can finish this match up and close it out for the win. Chance comes out. Can Real Madrid get another chance? And we can. What a shot! The player fired it. Anyway, game is finished. The man of the match is Lucas Silva. What a great performance by us. That's a good performance for you know early in the season, things like that. This is the player that got the injury. He, um, and, um, looks like he'll be out for a, 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 some time, and, um, okay, for, so the players I wanted to go after, first was Edinson Cavani, as you guys can see, I wanted to, to pull off a good small bid at first, um, for Edinson Cavani, and, um, I'm, you know, I'm also a little bit interested in taking in Suarez, and in Aguero, as you guys can see, from as you guys can see from everything there um i i was looking for a striker this time and i wanted guys like arjun robin and and you're gonna see you're gonna see through everything the you know what kind of ha what happens here what happens with a lot of these bigger teams like i told you guys before you can give these offers you can give tons of money but they don't want to do business 
and so I gave that offer. Stand for bid was sent, and you guys can see Aguero's got rejected. The reason was there. I mean, many of these clubs they did not want to let. They told me they're not going to let let many of your players go no matter what. Suarez was rejected. Cavani as well was rejected, and Robin was rejected. At that point, I had four guys knocked out already. And plus, a lot of these clubs, even if I came with a bigger bid, they would not give them to me. Because those players are indispensable. Meaning, those clubs were not going to give those players away to me, no matter how much money I gave. And you guys can see, I upped the ante. I mean, I went and I gave another bid for Robin. But, as you and went, and went back and went to give another bid for Edinson Cavani. To maybe go and maybe, you know, entice them a little bit. You know, Edinson Cavani is a really strong player. Having him alongside our team of attack makes us a lot stronger. You guys can see. And I was interested in bringing in Carlos Tevez back to Europe from Boca, Boca Juniors. I believe that's the name of the, of the club. Um, uh, I wanted to take him back away from... Argentina, I really think he's a great player, and I really think he can still play in his prime for Real Madrid, so I was interested in taking him in. Also, I was looking at Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you know, Zlatan is an amazing, he's an amazing striker, you can say whatever you want to say about Zlatan, but he scores goals, he gets, the, he, 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 he gets stuff done, he gets goals, that's all you, I really want in an amazing, strong tough athlete that I can bring on to Real Madrid. So that was that was my mindset. That was my goal going into this going into the into this transfer market. Also there was Harry Kane. That was a little bit on my mind. You know he's he, he's a great player, young Englishman who has been showing well for Tottenham Hotspurs. And um, I went and I dropped a twenty four million dollar offer for him. And I don't think that's it. I think there's also a couple other people that I was looking at. Um, Alexis Sanchez for Arsenal. But you guys can see he's a lot of money at $67 million. This, some of, uh, this, I believe me, uh, this is some of the things I've been looking at. You know, looking at Arsenal's team. And I kind of was seeing maybe Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud, I think, is a pretty, is a pretty good, good player in game, you know. Some people don't like him in real life. But in the game, he's actually pretty good, you know. He may not be a superstar striker in real life. But in the game, he's a pretty good player to have on your squad. And you guys can see, I continued everything here. The Tevez bid was rejected. Ibrahimovic bid was rejected. I could come a little bit stronger, but like I told you guys, these players are indispensable to their clubs. Their clubs won't let me have them if I paid in 90 million or 100 million. So I said, you know what? Let me try just going out for even Balotelli because at the end of the day, no one's really going to go after him. And maybe bringing him into Real Madrid could be what he needs to become a stronger player. And I also went in for Raheem Sterling, um, I'm sorry, Sturridge who is right now playing at Liverpool. I thought he could be a good addition to my squad and a great player to have and I also was interested in Liverpool's Christian Benteke, but I didn't. I don't think I'm really gonna go after that because he still really, according to me, he hasn't fully proven himself to be a, a really big player. But anyway, as you guys can see, the um, the offer for Olivier Giroud was accepted, and we got, I believe, another one accepted. But I wasn't gonna say no to Giroud because honestly. We need guys like uh, we, uh, we, honestly we need uh, uh, we needed a good new striker and in the game Giroud is actually pretty good. Okay, I know in real life you guys are, you guys are gonna comment say Giroud is bad. He's not that great of a player, not uh, uh, consistent. But in the game Giroud is one of the best players on here, and that's someone I'm looking at bringing into my squad. Anyway, as you guys can see, there's rumors about King going to Sevilla. But anyway, let's go into this Giroud contract. And as you guys can see, he's not really demanding too much, which is great. The contract, uh, I, I gave him what he wanted. You know, a 92 overall for, uh, player. I know you're thinking, I know you guys might be, 
might really be against this deal, but this is someone I really think could come in. And plus, all the guys I wanted to bring in, the big name players, are the clubs who are just not going to give them to me. You know, no matter what you give, if they're a huge player and they're permanent to that club, no matter how much money I gave, they were not going to hand them over. So as you guys can see, the Kane bid was rejected. And the Daniel Sturridge bid was accepted. I was thinking also of kind of going in for Daniel Sturridge, you know, uh, but at the end of the day, the, 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 uh, the bid for, um, sorry, the bid for Olivier Giroud went through and, you know, Daniel Sturridge is a great player, but at the end of the day, he's, uh, uh, he, he's also really, um, injury prone. And as you guys know from last season, we had a lot of injuries here and there. And having a player to come in that's injury prone is not going to help the squad out that well. We need someone in who even if they may not be ultimately consistent in real life, we want them to have a good stable health meter, you know, able to stay long for these games. Anyway, back, we're playing, I believe it's Atletico Bilbao. Uh, no, it's Athletic Club, sorry. It's Athletic Club versus Real Madrid. This will be the last match of the episode. Chance comes in and they miss the target completely. Match continues here. Chance is passing left and right. There is a chance for Athletic and it goes wider once again. Where is my defense? Come on, defense, let's do this. Match continues here. And as you guys can see, we're getting into half time. Not too much action happening for our team. We need to, uh, to speed it up. We need to show them what Real Madrid is made of. Atletico Madrid getting the ball here and they're continuing their terror. Their ter and it's a goal for Atletico Madrid. Atletico. Sorry, I am keep calling them Atletico Madrid. Atletico Bilbao. Athletic Club. A goal for Athletic Club. They go 1-0 up and this is looking bad for Real Madrid. We need to come. Uh, we need to come back with a good performance. Cross comes in. It's, can it be a chance here? And we couldn't get it into the back of the net. An opportunity for Real Madrid. Can we put it in? And it's a great save by the goalkeeper. Match continues here. Can Real Madrid draw it back? It's a free kick, and it goes wide. I don't know what's going on. We just can't seem to get anything into the back of the net in this game. Cross comes in. And they score once again. Athletic Club beats us 2-0, guys. What a terrible performance. Man of the match was Raul Garcia. Our defense looked lost and hopeless. Our attack couldn't finish. I hope this is not a sign of what's going to happen this season. Because I am not ready for this, guys. I am really not ready for this. Anyway, as you guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment below, subscribe. Um, I'm sorry I missed out on so much time, but I'm back. Thank you so much. God bless.